Kevin and Elias from Partridge Exterior Cleaning got a job to do today. I'll just a quick run around and Sid's going to meet us in a minute. I'm going to pressure wash the front of this wall. They've already had the new dry fitted. We're going to work our way around here. And we've got all this to do, which should come up nice. And the walls as well. The tiny walls. Yeah. Yeah, we've got all this to do. Around the back. Sid will be doing this bit because my hose won't reach. And back down again. Daddy's home guys, don't worry, I'm here. They're uh, cracking on nicely, the time is quarter to one. Um, I've just set the other machine up now, so Elias, I don't know if you've seen him much on camera yet, but that's the new guy. He's starting up the, uh, we've got all this pathway to do, obviously all the way down here as well, and those walls, so these walls should be a lovely difference. But yeah, I'll continue. Looks like the guys have done a good job so far, check that out. I was just going and doing a few quotes and picking up some chemicals, so I'm here now, ready to go.
Oh yeah, folks, okie dokie, check that out. We are all done. Look how good those walls look. And this as well, obviously, is fantastic, isn't it? So we've, the customer really stressed about the pointing. They didn't want loads of it blown out. So we've had to do a few different methods to try and save it as much as possible on this one. If you saw us, we were sort of, sort of gently turboing it from a distance just to sort of lift up the, uh, the moss out of it. Um, and then flat surface cleaning it, you know, like that. On, like, everything was on like really low pressure for it. So we've done our best. Obviously, some have still come away. It got to a certain point and the moss was just kind of like fused with the point in itself. It's not the right point in for that type of uh, that slab, to be honest with you anyway, but we've done our best. Walls came up glorious. Remember how black they were? Still a little bit of black towards the bottom there. Um, and then some of these slabs have still got a little bit, well, quite a lot of black spots on them, but we're a bit too close to the grass for my liking. So we did a one to four treatment on it. So one litre of water to four litres of hyper. Um, I know from experience anyway, before I did it, it was going to need more than that. But I don't really want to scale up that dilution when we're this close to the grass. And as you can tell, they do obviously look after it. So we don't want brown grass to it. But yeah, we've done our best, obviously. I mean, to be honest, these pathways were thrown on at the end as a, as a little extra anyway. But considering how they looked before, that looks all right, doesn't it? Let's be honest. It looks very nice, it's smart and everything up. I was surprised we actually managed to reach down the back of here, but we got it just about. Just obviously giving a check to make sure everything's been rinsed down to, uh, to my liking, because I've let them do it. But yeah, that's good to me. So yeah, you'll have to let me know what you guys think of this job. I think there might have even been an intro by Kev at the start, so I'll have a look when I'm editing it. Yeah, look, beautiful. So yeah, that's all. Um, there was meant to be another job today, but this one's taken forever, so I didn't realise it would take this long, but it was really bad. So yeah, I think we might be coming back to do the roof at some point as well, so we'll see. All right then, folks, thank you for, thank, thank you for watching. And I'll see you within the next couple of days for another job. So, so busy at the moment. All right, see you later. All right then, folks. I'm tired. This isn't my bed, by the way. I'm just lying in my daughter's bed for a minute. Uh, just finished editing that video, so that will go up now. Today is Sunday, so me and Kev just had to change a flat tyre. or change my whole wheel on my van um, because I got a flat tyre on Friday, which was nice. Um, and yeah, guys, it's been a busy couple of weeks and it's been hot. So, normal schedule. I, have, I haven't been on track as, as like as much as I'd like to be so obviously I've been training up the new lad as I've mentioned a few times and I've kind of had to focus guys because I don't want any mistakes to be made and stuff so I've put filming on the back burner kind of for a couple of weeks so I can sort of like have the first sort of two to three weeks with the new lad and just focus on him instead of like recording everything and having to like just leave him alone essentially because I don't like leaving anyone alone when they're new um so what was I going to say now normal schedule will resume tomorrow so it's monday tomorrow and what i'm going to do is start doing the um the vlog stuff again so basically every day i'm just going to record all day every single job put them up on the channel just like before because the new lad's getting there now i can kind of trust him a little bit i don't have to keep my eye on him 24 7 and obviously kev's there on hand as well to help out so yeah that's how that's going to go down normal longer videos are going to be coming back now um because i have the time to do it so i've got to do some e-learning in a minute because I've got my cherry picker license to do on Thursday, which will be fun. So we should have some very high up jobs coming soon, guys. So look forward to that. I've got already some booked in as well. So yeah, <sighs> this bed's too comfy. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow when I start recording again. Nice one.